Hey, what's up? How you guys doing? Um, this is Sam, and I normally don't get political anymore. I try to stay out of that arena uh, because of all the negative energy that goes along with it. But I've got something I'm, I'm going to talk about, and I'm actually going to shoot a few videos about this. And this is about the current situation in Jackson County, Missouri, which is the county I live in, uh, outside of Kansas City, Missouri. And I live about 10 minutes from Arrowhead Stadium, or which is Gia Stadium now, where the Kansas City Chiefs play at, and where the Kansas City Royals play at. Okay? Now, I'm a lifelong Jackson County resident. I am 64, going to be 65 years old, and I've lived in Jackson County all my life at two different residences. Um, one in the old Northeast area and in another community. And uh, I spent my, my entire life in Jackson County. I have family that goes back multiple generations to the 1800s that uh, grew up in the Northeast area, Kansas City, Missouri. With all that being said, I'm well familiar with the county, okay? It's not a rich county. It's a working class county. Some areas, it's very poor. Uh, people in, in Jackson County are standing outside in the snow and rain waiting for hours to get their personal property taxes adjusted because they were overtaxed. The county overtaxed them. This has been going on for a year, and people are still having to do this. They have one county courthouse that's open to where all the residents of Jackson County who own homes or businesses or property, you, you, you got to go and stand in line to, to fight to get your property tax adjusted to where it's realistic, people are getting overcharged by a thousand percent. Look it up. Don't don't take my word for it. It's out there. So take that into consideration with what I'm getting ready to talk about. Now, the old stadium, I remember the old games at on Brooklyn. My father would take me to these games back when the Kansas City A's would play before the Royals. I remember when they first opened the stadium. We went out there. It's a great, it's entertainment. It's a great thing for the city. And yes, does it add value? It does. But not at the cost of what they want to do right now. And this is about a team owner who wants to move his team and he wants the residents of Jackson County to pay for it. Bullshit. I'm not going to. It, it's not going to happen. Uh, the, the, the tax that they're talking about well, it's, it's, only, it's a small tax. Yeah, and the last time it was renewed, there was, it was for renovations to Royal Stadium and Arrowhead Stadium. They just got them renewing it. Now, this guy wants to tear it down. He's got investors. He wants to go downtown. Great. You want to do that? Do it on your dime, not mine. I'm voting no. And then now you got the Kansas City Chiefs on, and you hear people going, well, the Chiefs are going to leave. You know, I don't think they will, but if they do, We'll, we'll live, but I don't think they will. So, so far, I've gotten, uh, let's see, this flyer in the mail this week. I've got, keep the Chiefs and Royals in Jackson County. Make a plan to vote yes. Okay? The scare tactics, April 2nd, March now. You know, they've got millions of dollars they're throwing at this. And they're saying that these are facts. These are not facts. Uh... Keeping the Chiefs in Jackson County is critical to our economic future. Well, this isn't about keeping the Chiefs in Jackson County. This is about a three-eight $0.38 tax. And if that's what the Chiefs put the value of their fans at, about a three-eight cents, they can leave. I mean, I'm voting no. And I'm going to do other videos on this. This is just, and this is getting long. I'm going to keep trying to keep you shorter. But... There's a lot to unpack here, and a lot of bullshit that they're throwing at us. Real quick, uh, my card, the vote, April 2nd, I'm in. This is Sam. I'll talk to you later. No, big N-O. Talk to you soon.